Hi guys, it's Simon here. Today I was supposed to be doing my Grammy predictions video, but ultimately this afternoon everything changed. As Taylor Swift and Zayn Malik decided to pull a nice sneaky on me and released a song together this afternoon. It is entitled I Don't Want to Live Forever and it is from the soundtrack to Fifty Shades Darker, which is the sequel to the Fifty Shades of Grey film. Now, reaction has been widespread on social media at the sudden release, many praising the collaboration and many lunge straight for Taylor, accusing her of not being a feminist due to contributing to the Fifty Shades franchise. Zayn has not gotten any hate at all, and ultimately, don't you think that it's a little bit odd that when Beyonce contributes to the film, no, no complaint is made, no red flag raised, no accusations of her not being a feminist is raised. But when Taylor does it, all of a sudden we're all over the place squawking and flapping and crowing. Isn't it odd? Anyway, we'll let that sink in whilst we are waiting for Ash London on the Fox FM station to play because they are airing the song at six sharp and it is now three minutes until that time. So I'm just going to say now I'm probably going to talk very loud over the song because the last time I tried to do a Taylor Swift reaction, it was swiftly swiftly yanked from my account, ironically. And I'm um, feeling that's because I didn't speak loud enough over the song or the sound got an song got analyzed and it got blocked off. So I'm gonna try and talk as loud as I can to make sure that it doesn't amp and keep it to like a, like a 12, 10. Yeah, keep it like a 10 to 12 volume. You know what, I'll stick it at 12. It sounds louder and you can hear it double. Um, so, if you are going to listen to the song and you can't hear the quality well, my suggestion is go to iTunes and buy the song, support the artist, which is important, and get the song, listen to it freely without my voice in there. Let's see if we can try and get it to number one. And that would be cool if we got it number one in Australia and we got it number one in the States. I mean, that would be fucking awesome, especially after the really bad year that Taylor's had with a lot of shit that's been tossed her way. It would be really good for her to end the year on a positive note. So, go and get it through iTunes, or if you don't want to pay money, go and stream it on Spotify, or or watch a video of it on YouTube. The video, the audio of the video will probably be up in Australian time tomorrow morning because nothing's happened with our iTunes yet. I'm guessing it will happen after the premiere on Ash London Live. So, okay, that's the traffic alert. Okay, it should be up by Australian morning time, the audio of the thing. So keep your eyes tuned then. If it's on Spotify, that'll be a good thing as well because then you get to listen to it free. But it's still 50-50 because Zane's completely on Spotify, but Taylor Swift yanked all her music, so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. So... We'll just sit here and listen to Australian news in the meantime while we wait for this video to happen. Okay. You probably do not know this, but literally my head is going all over the place because I'm so excited for this song. And I feel awful about saying exciting things now because it's a report about um, a theme park reopening after a death had occurred there a few weeks prior. That's the problems what happens when you have a live reaction. But the main point is, if you can't hear the song over my voice, go and um, play it for another source, then come here and watch this video. Because hopefully it'll work well. Oh, did someone have a groin attack?
I love it already. I have heard the 30 second preview, but I need to hear more. It seems like it's got um, Zane's sound and Taylor's lyricism, and Jack Antonoff helped make the song along with Taylor, and it, he's created many of Taylor's hits, like Out of the Woods, um, I Wish You Would from 1989. Speaking of, I have not heard music from Taylor, new music, since 1989, and that was 2014. I am excited for this. You know, I'll keep it to 16. No, 15 sounds okay. I'm happy for the song premiere. I've been binge watching Desperate Housewives with my sister all day. Zayn and Taylor. Zayn and Taylor. I actually didn't have my valedictory dinner. Never mind. There should be a reunion that my Grace cast from Aquinas are having um, a bit later on in the year, so that will make up for it. Did it? I thought that it sounded like Lady Gaga. I'm sure that one of them's Lady Gaga. Two of them, it's a duo. It's a duo of boys. If it's the chain smokers, then that's some really shady shit. Everyone would have, and I would have loved to have been there seeing it. I'm so excited for this. Zane and Taylor went and dropped a track. Oh, it's, it's iconic. It's oh my god, I cannot wait for this. Fifty Shades Darker, which is the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey, which I still have not yet seen. I've got into it. I probably, I it's probably the soundtrack that carries the film. <laughs> I hope that Taylor gets an Oscar nomination for the song, even before hearing it. <laughs> I like to see her succeed. And she's got her Emmy, and she's got Grammy. If she gets an Oscar, then she's pretty much just one award away. Oh my gosh. Sounds so good. They're just making harmonies, but it sounds so good. I love it. Well, come on, Taylor. So we're going to have Zane like harmonizing all over the top of it. So that sounds okay so far. Like I'm literally doing some possession movement shit with this. I am in shock. Well, for a film that's said to be darker than the first one, this sounds very, very light and poppy. Oh god, Taylor's on next. Come on, girl. Oh my god, come on, girl, tell us. Oh my god, it encapsulates Anna's feelings completely. Oh my god. Oh, 
I love this song. And it fits well with Taylor's songs with about destructive love, like Treacherous. Like, it would sit perfectly well. Like, this could be the pop accompaniment. It's a lot more poppy and a less more gritty, like. Like, Treacherous is very gritty, but this one's kind of light pop-ish, like... Boom! Like, smoking a blunt like it in the afternoon without a care in the world. Yeah, he'll be taking you to the nicest places, girl. Do you think that maybe... I, I know it's a stretch, but taking you all to the nicest places... Do you think she might be talking about um, Tom? I know it's a very long stretch, but if she is, it'd be like... <laughs> come on, both duet, come on. So Zane's taking the choruses. I think she just took part just then. Um, I am completely unsure. I am completely shook. So Zayn might be taking the choruses and Taylor might be having little bits and pieces. Or maybe they're both doing the chorus, I don't know. But still, they're working together and it's cool and Taylor's on the track. <gasps> they're both doing it at the same time! <laughs> I love it! I'm literally freaking out here. <laughs> Come on, high notes. Oh my god, so perfect. Her voice is just beautiful. Oh my god, that was awesome. Holy shit. And just like that, Taylor Swift saved 2016, along with Zayn. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting a little bit watery-eyed. I do not know what to say. That, that is amazing. Oh my god, it sounded so good. I cannot wait to go and get this on my iTunes account and literally play it forever. Oh my god, I am so... Oh my gosh! I am so happy. I cannot wait also, when I do reactions, I do generally there from what I'm hearing. When I go back, I find very important stuff in there and I cannot wait to find the important stuff with this song because Taylor's lyrics is so layered and with Zayn's voice and her voice, her voice, actually trying to sing her is an incredibly hard tough task. It's not as easy as it looks. I did The Lucky One and Sad, Beautiful, Tragic in my singing lesson and my throat was literally raspy after doing it. Like, that girl has some pipes on her, and that's not an easy job to try and match up to them. So, I people kind of underestimate her lyrically, well, vocally. She literally brings it. So, I am in... Their voices together sounded so angelic. I am in absolutely shocked. I... I love the track. I cannot wait to see what TS6 is going to sound like. I cannot wait. First Better Man, now I don't want to live forever. I am officially gone. So, I'm going to take some time to compose myself. Hopefully the video does not get taken down. Um, maybe I'll give it a couple of days until it actually goes up. Until then, I'm going to be signing off. And there's really nothing else left to say other than, bye guys, see ya.